pieces of the best or worst Christmas pageant ever, which is also known as the worst kids in the world, in the universe. Wait a second. The worst kids in the world. Yes, I had that right. It's been adapted into a play and a movie in 1983, I believe. And you can watch that on YouTube. I will put the link in the description. It's like less than an hour long. Because this book is tiny. And therefore, I will not have too terribly much to say about it. Um, it is told in the first person by this this little girl. I don't believe that we ever really know her name. And uh, we learn about the Herdmans, which are a herd of small children who run around and are terrors and and tear up everything and start fires and they're just known for being really really bad kids and um, the main character's little brother Charlie tells these kids that if they come to church they would get cake and and like punch and they would get cookies and all sorts of stuff and like he's so much better than them because he goes to church and so he gets cookies and so they they come to church and they rig the auditions at the at the pageant they scare everyone for the christmas pageant they they scare everyone away from auditioning for all the main parts so they end up taking over the christmas pageant and being mary and joseph and the angel and the wise men and it's madness that ensues and it's an adorable little book um i i think the the reason that it's it's so well liked um cuz barbara's written a bunch of of like uh knockoffs i guess like the best school year ever we have in the back here there's this advertisement for in the back um and then like the best halloween ever whatever the the reason this particularly works so well is that the herdmans are supposed they they don't know anything about christmas and so they come in and you know as a a probably like nine-year-old who's supposed to be reading this um, that you know who's heard about Christmas all their life while well, the herdmans are coming in and they've never heard of it before and they're like this is a little crazy this oh, this whole idea and, and um and they want to like and they hear about the bad guy Herod the king and they're like ooh let's kill him and they were they're wondering why the wise men would bring oil to baby Jesus and they think that that's really silly and I won't spoil the ending but um, anyway it's very very good because uh, it, it's opening, it's eye-opening, it makes you remember that the story, the Christmas story, actually, it actually happened, that Mary and Joseph were actually real people, and the Herdmans are kind of standing in for them and being the real people, as opposed to the, you know, angelic, beautiful creatures that we see in all of the Christmas pageants and movies and the, the, the beautiful, um, the beautiful statues and pictures and all that kind of stuff. Mary and Joseph were real people, and um, and that's that's the point of this book. That's the reason that it works so well. It's definitely worth a little read. Um, I mean, seriously, I read it in a day, and I started at five o'clock, and you know, I I had it done, including eating and talking to friends and stuff by like eight. So it's not going to take you long. And it, it's just worth it to see a different sweet perspective. Um, probably read it around Christmas time, though. Uh, so anyway. Uh, does anyone remember this book? I don't remember when I read it. I, I was under the impression it was longer. Um, I don't remember, I didn't remember much about it. I was very happy to read it again. It's very sweet. Um, I, I'd like to know if you have read it, what your, your most, the, like, the most interesting part of it was. Like, the thing that she brought up, like, that, um, I guess the idea that baby Jesus, no, no, no. The idea that Mary might have been kind of like scared of everyone touching her baby, and I, I, 
hadn't thought of that before. Because I mean, that makes a lot of sense. She knew that he was the most important person ever. She must have been terrified. She's been given this huge responsibility. <laughs> and I, I guess in the end she just had to trust the Lord. But dang, it would have been so hard. <laughs> That's huge. Here, take care of the Savior of the universe for me for like 10 <laughs> to, you know, 10 to 15 years. Man, that's a big responsibility. Uh, so anyway, I'd like to know what, what the thing that, that hit you most that the Herdmans uh, brought up was. Um, and Merry Christmas. Christmas in July. It's actually August now. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!